Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Brotato Danger 5 random random run. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're playing Vanilla Brotato again, and I'm going to be choosing a random character, random weapon, and seeing if we can beat Danger 5 with it. This is going to be my 25th of these, I believe, so we've really come a long way on the random random runs. Um, gonna have to start duplicating characters at some point, but for now I'll still re-roll the ones we've done previously. Also, if I win this one, it gets me back up to the 80% win rate that was my goal, so hopefully we can manage that. Well, let's see what we get, and we've got the arms dealer. So arms dealer is sort of always random. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to just pick arms dealer because you can just watch my arms dealer guide for that one. Uh, the multitasker. Did I do multitasker yet? I don't believe so. Just checking that real quick. Um... Yeah, I don't think we've done multitasker, so let's see if we can get a random random win with the multitasker. That means uh, I will be trying to build 12 of whatever weapon we roll here, and that should be exciting. Let's roll and see what we get. All right, multitasker with spiky shield. This is a f really interesting one, so we're going to lose a lot of damage, um, and spiky shield levels very well, so it's something that... Um, will be a penalty for us because it gains additional scaling from armor with levels in the weapon. Multitasker, obviously, because you have twice as many weapons, is not going to end up with as many um, leveled weapons. So I could also maybe do a second random weapon and just do six and six, but I think we'll go with 12 spiky shields. I think that'll be fun. This, I think, is going to be a fairly easy run uh, as these things go. Um, as the random random runs go. Still not, like, the easiest run, but this is a powerful class and a powerful weapon. And I don't see any, like, major anti-synergy other than just that Spiky Shield wants to level up a lot. Here, I want armor. I could also just take harvesting. I think I'm just going to take harvesting because it's wave one. Obviously, we want to buy as much armor as we can when we are building for Spiky Shields. I am going to lock the helmet for that reason, I think, and then reroll, buy a shield. Shield, not the cheapest weapon in the game, so it does mean that we have to buy a lot of them to max out our damage. We at least got to three here, and we're rolling again, and I'll lock another spiky shield. So we're at minus 10% damage. Um, I do need to buy percent damage as well, because the, the multitasker loses percent damage with every additional weapon you have. Um, you start with some additional percent damage, so right now we're we're still positive, but as we get more weapons, we are going to drop down into the negatives. Alright, let's see if we can... I'll probably just take armor here. I could roll for more harvesting, um, but armor's so valuable to this character, I think I'm just going to pick it. So right now you can see we have 5% damage because of the, the multitaskers thing. You start with 20%. Um, we're going to end up with a total of t minus 10% damage when we get to 6 weapons, and minus 30% damage when we get to... or minus 40% damage when we get to 12 weapons. So any percent damage we can buy is very valuable. For that reason, I will lock the head injury as well. It's a reasonably efficient way to buy percent damage. I wish I'd gotten one more material so we could roll and try to lock another shield, but as is, we're fine. I need to buy speed and percent damage. Shield is worse on the multitasker for a couple reasons, because you get this damage penalty, and normally one of the things that makes shield good is that it just scales with defensive stats, so you don't really have to spend money on damage. But because we have this large damage penalty, it's going to be a little bit harder for us to maintain our actual wave clear speed. And because of the high knockback on shield, if it's not one-shotting things, it's actually pretty bad. Because it knocks the enemies away. I'm going to re-roll. I could take attack speed here. I don't hate that. I think I will throw in one more re-roll and try to get armor or harvesting. I'll take armor. And then here, the re-rolls are getting so expensive. I'll just take 5% attack speed. That's fine. Buy the spiky shield. And I will also buy the head injury, and then I will do one reroll here to see if I can find another shield, because we're guaranteed at least one weapon. Didn't get there, and nothing I want here, so I will 
pass a wave. I think it's worth do the one reroll for the guaranteed weapon there, but with an item already locked, I'm not going to spend a second reroll. A little unlucky on our rerolls. We've rerolled a few times without getting the things we wanted. But the good the good news is we have a very solid chassis and a solid base for our character here. I don't know if I've ever had the head injury be the, the top, because it, it's got a very low priority to show up on the character model. I don't know if I've ever had it be the one that actually shows up there. Do I just take the 10% attack speed or 3 regeneration? I think I'll just take the attack speed. I could roll for something better, but attack speed's very good, and we've spent a lot on rolling already. Another spiky shield brings me down to nine, minus 9% 9 damage. I will buy the helmet. I do still need to boost my speed, because we have a blunt weapon, so it's reducing our speed, but I think it's still worth it, and I will definitely buy the metal plate, even though, again, I need to increase my percent damage. I'm not going to lock Ugly Tooth. We need to increase our speed really badly here. But we should already have like 7 armor, something like that. So even with the, the percent damage penalty, our weapons are still hitting for a reasonable amount, because Spiky Shield's just a very strong weapon. We're like a porcupine armadillo, maybe. Or an Ankylosaurus. Go over here and kill this tree. <laughs> Having low movement speed makes it so hard to kill trees. It just takes so long for you to actually get to them. Here, I could take 6% dodge. We've already got 6%, so we can start building dodge pretty early. I think it's kind of late, actually, to start to like keep building harvesting. Um, and then here, I'll just take one armor again, I think. Armor is, we have 11 armor, actually, not 7. Uh, armor, I think, is still going to be more useful than 5% damage at this point. Once I get to, like, 15, I'll start buying percent damage over the armor. I'll take Cake, because we do need max HP and roll. Peaceful B is one of the best reasons to be Spiky Shield in the first place. It gives you Harvesting, which we will use, and Dodge, which is great, and costs us nothing. And then here, all right, we lose an armor, but I'm going to take the wheelbarrow. That means that now I can just build harvesting, and then we'll take spiky shield and coupon as well. Unfortunately, I couldn't buy the coupon before buying the, the wheelbarrow, but we get more money this way. So I need, I need move speed. I need healing. I'm going to need some regen. Ideally, we would find fairy or something like that. One of the nice things about Spiky Shield in general is that it, because it covers for a lot of your defensive stats and you don't have to buy melee damage, stuff like that, you can more easily afford to spend on the other things you need. Um, mitigate the downsides of the weapon as well. So like, unlike rocks, where you still have to buy melee damage, you can mitigate the downside of Spiky Shield more easily because you don't have to spend the money on melee damage and can instead spend it on the speed that you've lost and, and whatever. Still not the most amazing uh, income this wave, but we're, we're getting there. I'm going to recycle the Scared Sausage. We'll never use that. Here I'm going to reroll. We definitely want to improve this. Um... Dodge or Harvesting? Uh, with 30 Harvesting already at wave 6, I think I could just take Dodge. Because um, I Dodge is more valuable the more you get. So as I am already in the 20s in Dodge, it starts to become extremely worth it to buy more Dodge, I think. Buy the Coupon, buy the Shield. Up to 8 of our 12 weapons. Compass, excellent, and we'll take the mushroom as well. So I'll take the compass, because that this move speed is actually kind of important for our economy, I think. And then I'll buy the shield here, lock the mushroom. I'm going to need to mitigate the damage downsides, but we're starting to reach the point where we're getting regeneration, and we're starting to reach the point where we're maxing out our, our weapons and have all our defensive stats online, so we just need to focus on damage. I have reduced my damage significantly. It's possible I need to combine some of these spiky shields to get rid of some of this percentage damage loss until we get a little more percent damage. I probably shouldn't be chasing these slashers. It's okay to let them spawn because we have so much armor they can't really threaten us, but I shouldn't be spending time and effort on actually chasing them, I don't think. Let me kill this uh, 
kill the healer if I can too. The healing aliens are really getting me. Alright, I need to be careful. I wasn't able to chase down the healer fast enough, so I made pretty bad money that wave. Definitely recycling the triangle of power. And sure, I'll take more dodge here. Here, do I want attack speed, max HP? I think I want HP. Our HP is actually not amazing. Take the mushroom. Um, I will take lumberjack shirt. It's pretty cheap and our damage is pretty bad right now. So being able to one-shot trees is actually kind of nice. I don't think I can afford the metal detector because we need to boost our percent damage so badly. So... While I, do, I wouldn't mind some luck, and the metal detector is reasonable income, I think I'm just going to take the gentle alien. We'll take the dangerous bunny and roll. I will buy the spiky shield. Do I want alien worm? I don't think I can afford it with zero consumable healing. I will lock the wheelbarrow, even though it does reduce our armor, but the it's such an efficient item still. Yeah, I don't think I can afford to take Alien Worm. So the question is, do I combine a couple of these weapons just to have less of a percent damage penalty? Right now they're dealing 16, so I could gain... i go up to like 20 damage by combining two sets of these into level 2s. I mean, I think that's going to be better. It's a, a little against the spirit of, of Multitasker, but the amount of additional damage we get if I go down to like 6 of these for now, I think is, is huge. So I'm going to go down to six weapons and we will regain those as we level up. I'm just worried that our wave clear has suffered too much, so our income has decreased a lot. If I had found slightly better items, I think, overall, I wouldn't have felt the need to do that, but, you know, I want to win. And these shops have not been incredible for us. Having found basically no luck, in fact, we're at negative luck, means... Wow, I took a lot of damage there. Okay, I have to be careful. Um, means that we are finding poor level ups as well. So we're getting lots, of, lots fewer stats from level ups than most characters would. Uh, we have very little healing, because I found no consumable healing, and haven't been able to build regen yet, so we're definitely quite a bit behind. I'm going to recycle the bat. Lifesteal is... I, I guess with 12 weapons, lifesteal is okay, even with spiky shields. Um, I don't think I'm going to spend effort on building that, though, and I will take speed over dodge here. I want both, of course, but we have to build our speed back up. Take this. It costs me some damage, but it's still important, and we'll take that rolling again. Do I want the scar before going into wave 9? That's typically a lot of XP. I think I will pass on it though. I, there's just more important things for me to buy. Um, in this case, I think that is going to be the lucky charm. That will potentially get us some crates and will just make us much better at things happening. And I will lock the spiky shield. At this point, I will just not combine more spiky shields because I do want to get to 12 weapons. Otherwise, what's, what's the point of playing this character? Feels so much better to be back near um, full speed. Obviously, my regen still needs work. One weird ghost would go such a long way for this character, especially because I just got uh, some actual luck, so we're spawning consumables now. Trying not to take tank too much damage with my very poor regen while also still actually getting wave clear. Uh, I just did a bad job there. Because I keep... I, I think I needed to take more attack speed when I had the opportunity as well. I passed on a couple attack speed buffs, and attack speed is really important for this character, I think. Looks like we'll end up with okay income from this wave. Not amazing, but, but better than we've been doing, so... Um... That's pretty good. I will take the mushroom as well here. And then... Is it worth grabbing 4% lifesteal just because I currently am healing so badly? I think it is. It's a it's a level 4 upgrade, so 
that's a very efficient way to get lifesteal, and now we can get our speed back up. Now I don't have to spend too much on speed anymore. This is an amazing shop for us. We can actually build our damage back up to just in the positives, but, but positive. And let's reroll a couple times. Blood Leech is both regen types that we're using. I think I will buy it. It, it sucks to spend uh, to lose the harvesting, but we are actually now building both types of regen, so it's worth picking that up, I think. And then Alien Eyes is going to be worse for us than for a lot of characters. Do I want the medical turret? Um, yeah, I think I probably do want medical turret. We've got some positive engineering, but mostly just it's a convenient way to heal for a, a build that's currently struggling with healing. All right, that shop helped a lot. We can now focus on building our damage back up. So I need need to get more armor and just percent damage, attack speed, etc. More shields, of course, too. Yeah, so this lifesteal is really coming into play, you can see. Just because I, I have so many weapons, even with weak attack speed, we are actually getting healing from lifesteal. And as I add more weapons in, that will... Um, continue to increase. Lemonade was also a pretty big game for us. Staying in the middle of all these enemies because I'm not super in danger of dying unless I tank a bunch of charger hits and really trying to maximize my income from this wave. All right. Almost making 500. I don't want Boxing Glove because uh, we're already pushing enemies away too much and it's stopping us from killing them. Let's recycle that. 15% attack speed. That will help a lot. And then buy another spiky shield and a coffee and reroll. And another shield. So going well in terms of shields, though now I need to boost my percent damage back up. And Stone Skin, of course, is going to be incredible. It does reduce our armor by two, but this will be a lot of additional HP over the rest of the game, because we're going to buy armor very aggressively. I don't think I can buy plant, because I'm trying to build both of these, so I guess I just won't. Normally, plant or its uh, reverse equivalent are very good ways to build those stats, which is one reason I don't like to build both regen and lifesteal, because I'm giving up on a very efficient way to buy three regen. Um, in order to maintain my lifesteal, but I think it's important that we have both, especially going into this horde wave. Not going to take baby elephant because our percent damage is super low, and our, I mean, our luck is fine, but not amazing. Yeah, these rib cages are going to get really fast, but at least we have a lot of, because our damage is so low, at least we have a lot of knockback, so we should be able to keep them off of us. Even throughout the horde wave. Staying right in the middle of the wave around my medical turret as much as possible, because right now we're we're not invincible, but the horde aliens are not a huge threat to us because we have uh, a bunch of armor and dodge. <laughs> we're actually down to only eight armor though, so <laughs> I do I do need to boost my armor pretty soon. And even with only 6% lifesteal, I'm getting a lot of healing from lifesteal just because we have 9 weapons and there's so many enemies, so we're hitting, hitting things very frequently. Um, I'm going to take 3 armor over 9% dodge because I just need to boost my damage back up and over 12% damage as well. Can't afford insanity, doesn't really do anything anyways, but I will take a spiky shield and roll. And metal is great. It gives us everything we need, basically. We're never building crit chance, and Cyclops Worm couldn't be a better item for us. Night Goggles. 15% crit chance. I don't think we can afford that. I don't think I want Bean Teacher either. If I'd found this earlier, I might have picked it up, but as is, I don't think I want it. And I'll reroll, and I'll take another shield. And we're maxed out on shields, at least. So that's kind of exciting. With minus 11% damage, that's not as bad as it could be. It It's also not as good as it could be, but I think we can get that back into a reasonable value, somewhere around 40 or 50 by the end of the game. Do I want another reroll here? Yeah, I think I'll do one more, because there's a lot of stuff I could buy that would be good for us, and indeed there are 
is a lot of stuff I can buy that will be good. I'll buy the Gentle Alien first, because that's more economy. Blindfold is still good, because we're building dodge, and then I will buy the Alien Magic. I don't really want to lose that much luck, but we need max HP, we need healing, so Alien Magic is great. Looking for 5 to 10% more move speed, and as much armor and percent damage as we can get, pretty much, and... Ideally, we would find something like Fairy that would just solve our healing problems. Um, not that we're having huge problems with healing right now, but Fairy would, would just fix those immediately. Because I don't think we're going to have the damage to kill an Elite at the moment, and probably we won't ever. Because um, we're not leveling our weapons. Spiky Shield aren't great single target damage, they're mostly a defensive item. really got to cuz i'm dealing these small damage instances i actually have to focus down these healers took a lot of hits there but that's okay still not making amazing money but doing all right um i'll take the wandering bot that will help a lot with the boss and i think i will take power generator right now it's not going to do anything obviously but we can then buy speed pretty aggressively Although, here I'm going to take 12% dodge, then we're getting very close to dodge cap What between that and the blindfold. 45% dodge is amazing for this level, so very happy with that. Uh, wings is going to be excellent, that's damage and speed for us, because we have the power generator. So power generator already paying dividends, and we can buy Cyclops Worm as well. Now we have positive damage. Feeling pretty good about this one. Um, so I took the Wandering Bot. I wouldn't have bought it, but, but Wandering Bot does help against Elites, which is something that I am concerned about for this build. Because um, slowing down Elites is very valuable, even if it only happens unreliably. It will give us a chance to disengage. Alright, we gotta bully this <laughs> loot alien into the corner and try to pick up that crate. There we go. Break a tree. I don't have enough luck to be getting reliable crate drops, but that's okay. This is a, a tough wave for us because we, we do very small damage instances and these are all high health enemies who we're pushing away, so then we, we aren't like focusing individual enemies down or doing enough damage to just kill them. Oh uh, no, no. I saw that one too late. I don't know when it spawned, but I wasn't able to get it. We'll recycle this because I can't afford to lose armor. And do I just take armor or damage? Or do I take 10 luck? I think I'll take 10 luck. It's possible the correct pick there is just more armor. But I'll take the Cyclops Worm and roll. Coupon and roll. Hunting trophy will never happen because we have negative crit chance still. Let's reroll. All right, this is great. I can take metal plate for more damage. Do I take tractor? first. It's a lot of harvesting. I think I do. And then I'll upgrade a spiky shield. Lock the metal plate. This is pretty greedy because we have an elite and it's wave 14. So taking an item that lowers my damage and does not contribute to my combat stats at all is very, very greedy. But you know, you, you guys knew what channel you were clicking on when you signed up to watch. All right, let's see how our DPS against the Elite is. Not as bad as I was thinking it would be, but I don't think we're going to be able to kill it without putting ourselves in, in unnecessary danger. So I'm not going not gonna to worry about the Elite. Very hard to hunt down the Goobers because I keep pushing them away. There's a healer on the map as well, which is healing them back up as I knock them back. Wish there was an easy way to decrease your knockback in this game. I will, I do want to dive into the groups of summons from this guy, because we want to be picking up materials from it as much as we can. I think the summons have like a one-third chance to drop materials, something like that. My armor is just not keeping up with the incoming damage from the goobers. So I just have to dodge. Whew. All right. 
pretty bad wave for us, but we made it. I'll take three regen, because I need regen. I'll take the metal plate. That's very good. Um, is it worth abandoning lifesteal at this point to buy plant? I think still not. I will take the beanie. That's more damage. And I will take the broken mouth. Do I want the butterfly? I guess if I am building lifesteal, I will take the butterfly. Um, and then nothing I want here. I will hold. We've already rolled three times, so the rolls are just getting very expensive. I don't know. I'm, I think at the time it was right. I don't know if sticking with the double healing method is good or if I should have just abandoned lifesteal and gone for regen, uh, which was, of course, my original plan. I think we are past the hardest point, that Wave 14 Elite, where I got really greedy and bought Tractor, was certainly the the most likely part for us to die. Still not impossible, of course, for me to lose elsewhere in the, in the game. In fact, reasonably likely, I would say, but, but that was the really dangerous point, was the Wave 14 Elite. Wave 14 is the hardest wave to get elites on. It's the one you're typically going to lose on if you lose. Um, I think I think I probably have more deaths on wave 14 than any other wave by a wide margin. I'll take the chest here for plus three armor. That's an incredible find. Do I have... Yep, I've got a level one, so I'll buy the spiky shield. Weird ghost, I am still going to buy. Our regen is, is okay, um, I think, so... I think I, it's it's worth it to buy a weird ghost here. That's another way I could lose, of course. By the coupon and the helmet is minus 2% damage as well. And some speed, but more armor is good. Do I buy the gambling token? We're getting very close to dodge cap, which makes every point of dodge very valuable. So I think I will. I'm just going to buy both of these. Um, and then I will buy a spiky shield upgrade Yep, to a level 3. And roll again. Cyclops Worm and Silver Bullet are both pretty interesting. We'll take the Worm. Do I want the Chameleon? I think I can get Dodge in a better way than that. So I'll take the Silver Bullet. This way, maybe next wave we can kill the, the Elite. Oh, I thought that blue spawn on the ground was the um, the medical turret. And I wanted to, to run to my medical turret, of course, to, to heal up off the beginning. But the Weird Ghost... <laughs> the the wandering bot baited me into running directly away from the medical turret. Because med medical turret is one of the items that makes it very reliable for you when you buy Weird Ghost, because you can run to where it spawns, get an immediate heal, and usually be out of danger just based off that, plus whatever regen you have. Had to kill that loot alien, and now we have to chase down these buffers. The healer getting a buff was pretty bad for me, honestly. Because it, it means that these enemies are getting healed and, and I can't really easily chase it down. Starting to tank some damage there, and we didn't make that much money, but we're still doing okay. We'll recycle that, and here, 9% speed is also 9% damage. Um... Yeah, I will actually take Shackles. So you can take Shackles and it caps your speed, um, but you can still benefit from speed. Be Power Generator can still benefit from speed over that cap. And 8 regeneration, I think, is just worth buying here. So I will reroll again and then reroll again. I need defensive stats mostly for this elite. Um, do I want Poisonous Tonic? Attack speed is good. I'll take another Cyclops Worm for sure. Um, yeah, I think I will take 10% attack speed for 190. This is not a pick I would always make, but attack speed is really valuable for us because we have 8% life steal as well, and we're going to presumably try to build more. All right, so with the having built up our damage a little and with the Silver Bullet, I think maybe I can kill this Elite. Yeah, it's looking not terrible anyways. 
It does mean, once again, I'm letting the brain bugs stack up and put a lot of buffs on the rib cages, which is one way you can definitely lose this game, is letting rib cages get a lot of buffs. But because we have such good knockback on the spiky shields, that's, that's one place where we have um, an edge where knockback is actually an advantage is against these rib cages, especially when they start getting buffs. Let's go hunt down those brain bugs. Got them. At this point, I'd say we are tanky enough that we are not in a ton of danger. Now that we've cleared that elite, we're definitely in, in solid shape. Oh, can I get that tree? Nice. Still only making 500 a wave, which is not amazing. <laughs> of course, we get our second chance at Night Goggles, which we're going to pass on again. I will definitely take Mouse, though, and more armor. And here, I don't I don't think we need a second medical turret. I'm just going to pass on all this stuff. I will take Metal. I'll take Beanie. So notice, even though we're speed capped as we buy Beanie, our damage still goes up because of the power generator. Um, do I spend 129 on 5 HP? I think that's worth it. We'll just buy that. We don't use the melee damage at all, but the HP is still good. And then here I will take Lure. I don't think Crown will pay for itself in only two waves. So we'll take Lure, we'll lock Ritual, we'll go to the next wave. You could also make this run much easier if you let yourself use a second weapon type. One of the major, major advantages of Multitasker is that you get multiple weapon synergy tags. So if you use six different, or yeah, two sets of six weapons, you can get several weapon synergy tags. Oh man, <laughs> all of the, the loot aliens are getting buffed and healed constantly. <laughs> Makes it so hard to actually get them. All right, there we go. I got, yeah, three of them spawned. I got all three. Something that you may not know about this game is that lure and loot aliens are affected by enemy spawn percentages. So we have additional enemies spawning. That's why we got three loot aliens from the lure. There's a chance of more than two if you have over 100% enemy spawns. And if you have 150% enemy spawns, you're guaranteed. Um, I will actually take Baby with a Beard here. This projectile, I believe, can lifesteal, and we have 13% lifesteal, so that's pretty good. Uh, and we will take the Blindfold as well, and recycle this. Um, and then here, do I want attack speed, or 10% attack speed, 9% damage, or 15 luck? I think I will take the attack speed. Um, we'll buy this, and roll, and buy this. I could buy Ricochet to go with the baby with a beard. So the reason I bought baby with a beard, even though we have no range damage, it's not doing any damage, is that the, the lifesteal off those projectiles is very valuable. Um, blood donation won't pay for itself. I'll take spiky shield and we will combine into some more tier three spiky shields. Roll again, lock this. I will take cute monkey and lock the helmet as well. Go to wave 19. It's possible I'm wrong about the baby with a beard projectile working with lifesteal, but most projectile weapons do, so like most most additional um, attacks do. If anyone knows for sure, then feel free to let me know in the comments. But we're certainly staying full health pretty easily, so something about our healing setup is working well. I think it's just having 15% lifesteal and 12 weapons. Maybe I could have skipped out on regen even and just gone with a pure lifesteal build. I think that would have been harder in the early game. We are spending all of our time inside big groups of enemies. Um, cap max HP, well, we can't benefit from any of those stats, so we'll recycle the handcuffs. I'm just going to take one armor over 10 luck, that will matter more. Robot arm, obviously one of the best things we could find. It does decrease our healing, but six armor is so good for this build. Take all this, 
get another level three. Roll again. Ooh. Uh, so fairy is only 13 regen, and I can't afford both it and the spiky shield, right? Um, that's 81, so we're two short. <laughs> yeah, that's 300 and uh, 391. So I'm I'm uh, 12 short. But do I want fairy or shield? I think the fairy is more likely to save us in the in the next um, in the boss wave than a leveled up shield. Let's reroll just to see what we could buy here. Ooh, a sad tomato would have been kind of nice actually. Insanity is is honestly looking not terrible. We can get up to 10% crit chance for minus 3% damage. So yeah, uh, I'll buy that. And then obviously we would buy lemonade or spiky shield, but I think we are ready to roll. Try to stack up the bosses so I hit the same boss with, or hit both bosses with the same attack. Makes it a little harder to dodge, but this build doesn't really have to dodge that much. We never actually hit our 60 dodge cap, which I would, given that we were at 20 dodge or 25 dodge by like wave five, I thought we would definitely hit 60 dodge cap this game. Basically want to sit on this octopus guy and try to DPS him down. He's the more dangerous of the two. Also, the silver bullet was super helpful for, for this build. And there we have it. All right, so we're back up to 80% win rate on the multitasker. Um, I want to thank everyone who believed in me. We, we got five Cyclops worms, which is truly impressive this is one of the best items in the game so seeing five of them is incredible um other than that nothing much that was too incredible about this build or too special about this build we basically just had to navigate the tough early game which i made harder by building you know 12 of the same weapon instead of a 6-6 six, six split um for multiple synergy tags and stuff um but we were able to do so and got up to a reasonable amount of damage per spiky shield attack thanks to our good armor and increasing our percent damage with cyclops worms etc and the power generator was also worth a lot for us because we ended up with 34 speed so this is just a 34 percent damage item or a 29 percent damage item all right my friends i hope that you have enjoyed this video and as always of course feel free to leave a comment rate the video and subscribe to my channel for more Brotato and other strategy game videos. Cheers, my friends. I'll catch you next time.